Apostasy has entered the Catholic Church. Pope Francis, the supposed representation of Christ on the earth, has turned from the belief in what the Bible teaches and turned to what the world finds acceptable in its place, denying the importance of the Ten Commandments, blessing same-sex marriages, and appointing a cardinal just below himself who has a shocking past. The worst part about it is it seems as if it will only get worse. Galatians 1.8 tells us that if anyone, even an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel than the true gospel of the Bible, that person must be accursed. This is really the definition of apostasy, turning away from a faith that you previously believed in. Before we evaluate this apostasy and this strange cardinal, first I must point out an extreme error done within the Catholic Church. While researching this video, I was reading through an article, and this is something that's often said amongst Catholics, where they refer to Pope Francis as the Holy Father with capital letters. This quote from someone within the church says, it is simply wrong and harmful to the church to receive every declaration of the Holy Father as an expression of papal teaching. There's at least 25 verses in the New Testament that refer to the Father, capital letter, in heaven, that's God alone, but I'll point out the most obvious and important one. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. This first case of apostasy that we'll look at took place in 2021 when Pope Francis referred to the Ten Commandments and said they really practically weren't that important to him. The Ten Commandments are a foundation of the Christian faith. Turning from them is apostasy. Pope Francis on the Ten Commandments, I observe them, but not as absolutes. The exact quote was when asked if he disregards the Ten Commandments, he said, No, I observe them, but not as absolutes, because I know that what justifies me is Jesus Christ. The Christian faith, which is based entirely on the Bible, has two verses in the New Testament, the covenant that we're under in reference to following the commands of God. 1 Corinthians 7, 19, Circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing, but keeping the commandments of God is what matters. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. If the Ten Commandments aren't an absolute, then what is? Well, apparently none of the statutes or commands mentioned in the Bible or even in the New Testament. Because what we just saw recently was Pope Francis approves blessing for same-sex couples if the rituals don't resemble marriage. Clearly, the don't resemble marriage part is just something to fall back on when conflicts arise, when people don't like what they're seeing, when it probably will represent and resemble marriage. This is obviously just moving in the direction of away from the faith, away from the Bible, and towards what the world wants to represent is acceptable. God gave us a clear warning about this. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. The fruit of Pope Francis and the people he's been putting in power, which we'll look at one of them next, it will absolutely blow your mind, but we can see what the fruit of this has already started to produce. Just this last Christmas, what did we see at a Catholic church in a southern Italian village? Well, sadly, we saw a nativity scene with two mothers instead of Mary and Joseph. You think you've given an inch, in reality, you've given a mile. This is going to continue to happen as the church conforms itself to look more like the world until eventually the church has no visual representation of what the Bible tells it and tells us to look like. This road to apostasy is being paved by Pope Francis. He's raised people to high positions of power in the Catholic Church who are extremely questionable in what they do. Victor Emmanuel Fernandez is a cardinal in Rome, a close associate of Pope Francis, and is to the level of leadership just below the Pope. Cardinal Fernandez was named perfect of the dicastery for the doctrine of the faith in July 2023. Let's take a look at some of the books he's written. I'm sorry this might get disgusting, but it has to be said. In 1998, he wrote a book, Mystical Passion, Spirituality, and Sensuality. Don't forget that this is written by someone who's supposed to be celibate, so why is this a subject that's even on his mind? Within the book, there's a chapter detailing the differences between male and female orgasms and how one can find God's love in either. While there's another chapter that was titled, God in the Partner's Orgasm. A quote in the book in relation to those subjects without getting in too much detail says, 
after mentioning the act that, quote, it can also be a sublime act of worship of God. And in 1995, he wrote another book, Heal Me With Your Mouth, The Art of Kissing. At current day, he says that he wouldn't have written at least the first book and kind of disavows himself from both of them. But that's probably because in the 90s, he didn't foresee a future where people would have the ability to make videos and commentary on his books and that it wouldn't just be controlled by the news that we would never see. Apostasy within any belief of people who follow the gospel and believe the truth of Jesus Christ is a terrible thing. And there's actually prophecies that this would eventually happen in the future with a certain wicked pope. The Catholic Church, which for a long time throughout history was the largest group of people who believed and followed the gospel of Jesus Christ, even though some unbiblical teachings were still going on. But throughout time, some prophecies of a coming corrupt pope have come from those of the Catholic faith. St. Malachi's prophecy of the popes revealed that there would be a final black pope, Petros Romanus. There's rumors that the third secret of Fatima, which hasn't been revealed, actually has a prophecy within it of a coming evil pope in the future. While this next mention isn't a prophecy, Malachi Martin, who was a Jesuit trained priest and exorcist who worked within the Vatican and said there was a high ranking group of individuals who had given themselves to Satan. On June 29, 1972, Pope Paul VI even stated that the smoke of Satan has entered the church. 2 Thessalonians 2.3 prophesies that there will be a falling away from the faith towards the last days. And with an estimated 1.2 billion Roman Catholics in the world, this apostasy that's happening will absolutely turn many away, hopefully not into unbelief or another religion, but this is what's prophesied to happen. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. If we look at the definition of apostasy, we can see that this is exactly what's happening within the Catholic Church. The abandonment or renunciation of a religious or political belief. The Catholic Church has decided to stop teaching the Bible in its entirety, conforming itself to be more like the world. This along with the continued practices of doing the complete opposite of what the Bible states, as well as relying more on the traditions of men, their own actions, going to men to ask for forgiveness of sins, and believing Jesus isn't enough for salvation and that when they die, they will have to endure purgatory. Apostasy has sadly entered the Catholic Church and Pope Francis and many under his leadership are happily leading the way. The time has come to where we need to be in Bible-believing churches who teach the Bible in its entirety, proclaiming that the Bible is perfect, Jesus Christ is enough, and that the only way to get to heaven and to be in right relationship with God is through Jesus alone. I hope and pray you're well. Thanks for watching and God bless.